everybody and welcome to our kids craft for this month. This month we are actually going to be sprucing up some old books and this is the one that I and my daughter made because I had a hard time painting it. Um, but as you see it will kind of decorate the bookshelf. You can make multiple ones if you wish. Um, paint them, tie them off and um, it's a nice piece of decoration nice thing is it's still a book so you can read it so it's a nice way to kind of revamp those old books or maybe if the cover's getting a little bit tattered so um let me walk you through what i did here first so to get this started my book actually started with this cover okay to begin with I slipped a piece of newspaper just under this front page to kind of protect all my pages. So I put a piece of newspaper under here and then I coated all of this with just a flat white paint. I used acrylic paint for everything I did here and it stays pretty good. So um, you can pick that up pretty much anywhere. So once I got my white paint on here, I did two coats. Um, let it dry really good otherwise it's just gonna streak so let it dry in between the coats really well and then you just use your imagination on the rest of it um, I don't know if it can show up real good in the photos but there's a little bit of glitter like peeking out through there um, I actually painted my book and then sprinkled glitter on there um, then my daughter nicely <laughs> painted me some pretty flowers and a pretty scene on there um, along the spine, I picked just something that I liked, so imagine seemed like a good word to go on a book. Um, and again, I repeated this same process. It was solid white. I painted over with whatever color I wanted to, added some words, and you know, now I've got a nice piece of shelf art. Um, but if you come by the library, I will actually have available some old books that you can paint, so you don't feel like you have to do anything to yours. We have some here that will be sitting up at a table. Um, I will also have some little containers of paint that you could take home, um, but you might want to add your own to get a little bit more variety than the colors that I'm gonna be giving you. Um, and then as always, take a picture. Show me what you come up with. Definitely take a picture of it on your bookshelf. And uh, we'd love to see what you got. All right, enjoy, bye-bye.